young metropolitan adults in a city with disposable income. An underpenetrated fashion market. And it's the target market for American apparel. Making high quality, fashionable, basic apparel with broad potential appeal, the company is now the largest clothing manufacturer in the US. Made in downtown LA. Growth has been explosive. From three stores in the US in 2003, there are now more than 300 stores around the world. Retail sales of $341 million in 2008 a 62% increase on 2007. American apparel is a fashion sensation. But the company remains ambitious. American apparel is developing all aspects of its business. An expanded product range, improved systems and supply chain management, and a desire to improve the performance and productivity of the stores. At American Apparel, we utilize a boutique-style model. As you will notice, there's only one of every size, color, and style available at one time. This means that replenishment and the speed of the replenishment become very critical. Part of the culture at American Apparel is the ability for our customers to come in and know that their size, color, and style will be represented on the sales floor. American Apparel's practice has allowed the company to offer customers more items per square foot of store space. However, it did not provide for safety stock on the sales floor and created two distinct challenges. Our initial challenge was to find the 10% of stock that was lost in our stock room and not represented on our sales floor. The second challenge was to give real-time visibility to our stock room staff of items that were displaced off our sales floor and needed to be replenished. An innovative solution was proposed, RFID. The solution consisted of RFID inlays, printers and tags from Avery Dennison, RFID handheld and portable readers and antennas from Motorola, and in-store inventory tracking software. Step one called for attaching RFID-enabled tags to every item. This was accomplished using Avery Dennison AD222 tags, chosen for their consistency and accuracy. Step two involved establishing four RFID stations at key in-store locations to track inventory. The receiving station is the primary place where we bring product into the store. So anything that's coming from the factory, from another store, we're going to bring that down to the receiving station and use that station to move it into back stock. The employees are actually using the system to tell the entire system where the product is at that time. The fill station is the place in the back stock where the employees inform the RFID system what they're taking to the sales floor. It informs them what needs to go to the sales floor and then it gives them an interface to inform the system what they're actually taking to the sales floor. The validation point is the place usually somewhere between the back stock and the sales floor where the work that they've done at the fill station is checked and validated. So it will inform the employee if they haven't brought up the correct amount of items, if they brought up items that they didn't inform the system that they were taking up. For us, the validation point makes sure that what they intend to bring up is actually going up and informs the employees that they're doing their job correctly. The final RFID station is the point of sale. At the point of sale, we're able to read the RFID tags instead of having to barcode scan each individual tag, which speeds up the process for the customer as well as driving the replenishment for the RFID system. This is where we inform the RFID system that those items are now no longer on the sales floor and we need to replenish it from the back stock. So, the sales floor inventory and the stockroom inventory are separate, accurate and instantly updated at the item level. This ensures that 100% of the items in the store are available on the sales floor, giving the customer the best choice and maximizing sales. But the system has many unexpected benefits. The old system of replenishing the sales floor required the sales staff to show up early, 
and come in and manually count all the items on the sales floor. This would take five to six employees, five to six hours. With the new system, with the RFID system, we're able to count the entire sales floor in under two hours and validate and replenish. It gives you a lot more time to work with the customer since you don't have to worry about the merchandise stocking so much. The efficiency is just as high on a very busy day as a day that's just a normal level of customer activity. If something gets sold and it's no longer on our floor, it's usually no more than 30 seconds to a minute before it's back upstairs. The most important benefit we have found and the easiest to measure is the 14% sales lift we've seen at the RFID stores compared to the non-RFID stores. This is due to the fact that we have more items on display for the customers and we have improved customer service at the RFID stores. <laughs> no, I don't ever want to go back to the old system, ever. This, the RFID system works amazingly and, and everyone should have it. American Apparel has no doubt about the use of RFID technology. It is a technology that can benefit all retailers and Avery Dennison is uniquely suited to support businesses wanting to explore or implement RFID initiatives. Avery Dennison is currently supplying over 90% of the tags used for apparel RFID worldwide. These are used by some of the industry's largest retailers and brand owners. Isn't it time Avery Dennison helped you?